Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you about velocity. Velocity, in layman's terms, is speed with direction. And that's what we're going to be doing with this spaceship looking thing. I know it looks like a upside down Mickey Mouse, but, you know, I think it looks nice. So I'm going to teach you how to create this, and we're going to have some fun with it. So let's, let's have fun with creating a spaceship looking thing. I have two layers. One is my action script 3 layer, which is, has all my action script, and one is my content layer, which only has a ship in it. Inside of my content, my ship is facing left, and that's very important to note. That has to do with our coding. Let's examine the spaceship right now. I'm just going to double click to go inside of it to show you what's inside of our spaceship. Inside of our spaceship we have one layer, and the first layer is a neutral layer of our ship, and the second is a layer with fire behind it, showing that there's some thrust going on. And that's all you really need for your spaceship. You can draw it any way you want. You don't even need to make the second frame, but I'm doing it for design purposes. So let's get a look into the code. The first line of code is where I set the key object class. If you don't know what that is, then I'll have a link. And if you still don't understand about object classes, or this key class, then uh, you can watch some of my previous tutorials, character, animation, and movement. I think I got it backwards. But anyway, we set that key object class to the stage. And then we have to stop the ships playing because the ship has two frames and we want it to stop on the first frame. And that's exactly what's going to go on. The second item is we set a speed variable and we set a friction variable. This is important if you want your ship to stop and not continue to pick up speed. And I set it to 0 0.98, which seems to be a great speed, a great friction rather. The next thing I did was set an event listener to the stage. And that event listener is event enter frame. And I named the function on enter. So let's get into that on enter function. Of course you know that my name, or well, the name of the ship is ship, and my name is war, so just to get that cleared out for you. This code here, these four if statements, they represent the, uh, the stage warping. When it's basically saying when my stage's X position is greater than 590, which is off the stage, then it wants to reset it at negative 20, which is on the other side of the stage, a little bit off the stage. And for here, if it's less than negative 30, then it's going to reset it to 580. And we have the same idea going on for the Y axis. When the ship is greater than 510, Y position, then it wants to set it back to negative 20. And when it's negative 30, or less than negative 30, is going to set the ship's Y back to 500. And that's how you do the screen warping. Now for the user interaction, you have two if statements that check to see if the key is down. So what we have here is if key dot is down key dot left, which is checking to see if the user is pressing the left key. And if the pr user is pressing the left key, the ship dot rotation will subtract by five. So every time our if you hold down the left key, the ship will rotate by 5. And it's the same thing for the right, but in the opposite direction. So you're adding to the rotation. And when we press the key up, there are a few things that need to happen. The first thing that needs to happen is we need to add to the speed. I put 0.5. The second thing is that we want the ship to go to the second frame, which shows thrust in the back of the ship. And we want to say anything else, this else here, we want the ship animation to go back to one. Now this is the brains of the operation going on here. Flash, it has rotation, or the ship rotation is in degrees. What we need to do is make those degrees into radians. Radians is another form of measurement as far as circles go. So ship.rotation times math.pi divided by 180 will give us radians or convert the ship's rotation into radians. Once we have the radians, then we can use other formulas which use radians. So we're using the math.cosine 
and we multiply that by the speed. And once you do that, this will give you how fast the ship needs to be going in the x direction. And it's the same idea for math.sign. You, you put the angle in, multiply it by the speed, and it's going to tell the ship how fast to go in the y direction. And when you have the x and the y together, or you add the x where the x is supposed to be and the y where the y is supposed to be, this is what's going on here, we add it back to the x value and the y value, then you have what seems to be your ship going at an angle. And that's exactly how it works. You take your degrees, turn into radians, take that number, multiply it by the speed, which gives you a percentage of what the x should be traveling at and the same idea for the y and you set it and once you set those two numbers you set it to the x and the y of the ship. Next thing we want to do is we want to take the friction equal multiply speed. We're taking that friction and multiplying it by the speed which since the speed is a fraction multiplying it will make the speed slower and slower and slower so one the user lets up on the speed, your ship will come to a halt eventually. The next item we have is this if statement. If math.absolute speed, which finds out it, what number the speed is, whether it's negative or positive, if it's less than a certain number, which is 0 .0009, then we want the speed to go back to zero, because we don't want it to continue to get smaller and smaller by multiplying. So we go in and say, hey, once it's below a certain number, the ship doesn't need to move anymore. It'll come to a complete stop. So that's basically how to do it. Wasn't that many lines of code, wasn't complicated, um, but the brains of this operation is within here. This is the function going on. Getting the ship's angle, and from the angle, we turn it into radians. So these are the formulas that you need to use. Let's test it out. And now as far as the ship facing the left, well that's because that's what where zero is. Zero is right here, 90 is right here, 180 is here, 270, 360. So Flash believes it's right here. I hoped everything worked out for you. If you're confused by this tutorial, you can head over to my website on enterflash.com where you can download the FLA, the only place you can download the FLA, and you can find a bunch more of my tutorials. And I hope this helped you out in your quest for space domination. Thanks for watching this On Enter Flash tutorial. If you like my videos, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and go to my website, onenterflash.com. Click on an ad or two, put a few pennies in my pocket. Um, hopefully I'll have more than two pennies in my pocket, but uh, thank you very much. Wow.